Venezuela, land of grace. And not so graceful people. Most people are not aware of the impact of many of the historical events that took place in this corner of South America. Heck, even nowadays, many couldn't locate where the country is on a map. And that is a shame. Not only because, as a Venezuelan myself, I find the history of my country to be fascinating, but also because history is what teaches us about who we are today and what we can become tomorrow, and the hard lessons that forged the Venezuelan mindset are worth and important to be shared. I am a migrant. I had to leave my country as so many other back home had to do as well. But the truth is, Venezuela is a country that has always known and welcomed the movement of peoples. What's different now is that, for the first time, people settled on that land, either recently or since forever, have to leave it. I have the belief that the impact of this unprecedented migration is still to be seen just like 200 years ago, a Venezuelan army crossing into the territory that will become Colombia, Ecuador, Peru and Bolivia had later on each of these modern countries. Or the abolishment of the slavery for the first time in this side of the Atlantic. Or the establishment of the first stable and alternating democracy of the continent. But I don't want to get way too ahead of myself. I want to share with you our legacy, our history, our story. On this series, I will be covering the recorded history of Venezuela, meaning that the period before the arrival of the Europeans in the continent will not be covered in depth. This is not, however, yet another attempt to dismiss the rich and important history of the indigenous peoples that inhabit the territory since time immemorial. It's me recognizing mostly that I just don't know much about it. When and if I do, I'd love to dig in as well. But for the time being, I'll stick to what I know. This is from the colonization period to the modern day. But we'll take a quick glance of what the Europeans, quote unquote, <coughs> discovered. That leaves us with still a good 500 years of tales to tell. So don't worry. There's plenty to learn. Come with me then to the tropical crib of many heroes and anti-heroes, of revolutionary democrats and some of the most charismatic dictators. Join me on this long journey into Venezuela, history of oil and blood. <laughs>